Ja. Vandaag op bezoek. Moskou Grub. Nog meer. En voor de doom natuurlijk wat. Klein versies. Zoet water, koud uh, kreefje. Yes. En hier nog veel meer. Het beste stellage. En wat meer in de kruist. Ook wel schoon. Ja, dit is wel lekker. Zeg maar. dus met, uh... Mooi is het buiten, zeg maar. Ja. Hier zit, uh, heb je er nog veel uh, pascai in, een rode variant. En uh, cordero's en broodjes. Zo kunnen kreeft of zo. Nee, dat zijn visjes. Allebei. Visjes. Die. Ja. Zoveel. En die dingen die, die kweken, dan deze bak vind ik wel leuk. Ah, het is camera schuw. Ja, dat zijn ze. Ja. Zo schuw voor alles. Ik merk wel dat nu ze wat grotere groepen vormen zijn, dat ze nu wat minder schuur worden. Ja, dan durven ze wat meer. Ja. Van een riante bakker. Ja, dat is leuk speelgoed. Ja. Ik had ook zo'n bak aan de, de achterstraat hoor. Ja. En hij had ook allemaal kreefjes in het. Ja, dat is wel. Ja. Ik ga een naakje, ik ben Ja. En je kunt ze een keertje kwijt af en toe. Is dat en als de spuig uit gaat, spuig, spuig gaat uit gaat, want die is een keer gewoon kwijt. Hè. Ja, die visjes die zijn nogal wild. Die zijn niet zo veel te krijgen in Nederland. Nee. En ik heb nou een wildvang besteld uh, bij een dierenwinkel uh, verderop, zeg maar. Ja. En daar had ik nog een paar vrouwen bij te vinden. Ik had ze wat vlokken trekken. Moet wel lukken in zo'n bak. Zo, so, nieuwe episode. And today we got uh, hemp seeds. Yeah, I bought a new batch of hemp seeds. Hemp seeds. So let's feed them to the fish and let's see what they will do. Yeah, yum yum yum. Fish are growing like crazy on hemp seeds. They have lots of uh, good oils and fatties and uh, minerals and potassiums and magnesiums and calciums and, and stuff like that. And they grow. So I bought some new uh, hemp seeds and also paid a visit to Jorin. Jorin and got some fresh uh, dogweed for the system. Yay! So we release it and some uh, aquatic plants also. So we can uh, give it to uh, the boxes we have. But the dogweed is going uh, is go there and. We got some new parts here. Uh, we got some guppies. They got stuck in there, and maybe we can see them. Uh, also, snails. Yeah, new kind of snails. So it's, it's widening our uh, DNA pool, gene pool in our dome. Uh, we also got some freshwater prawns in there. So, uh, it doesn't look so sharp here. Anyway, let's uh, climatize these guys. Uh, duckweed is in. This will um, enhance the growing rate of the population we had. And we have a different uh, DNA pool, so it will be fine for this uh, coming summer. And we can uh, feed this duckweed to the fish, of course, again. It's an easy nitrate filter, duckweed. So it cleans up your system and provides uh, food in your food chain for your fish. Yeah, nifty plant. I love it. Look, there they are. And one guppy. And freshwater prawn. 
It's a cold uh, variation, so it will uh, survive and it will mul multiply and it will clean also the system and be nice and beautiful and when we have enough we can feed them also to the fish or sell them or yeah, we just love them. So let's uh, give them a first uh, climatization now. Let me scoop some up, a little bit of water, and water in. Yeah. So, into the next five minutes. Oh uh, yeah, and I found a new one, a clover four, yeah, hey. So, are you gonna preserve this one before the snails will eat this? Unique. Whoa. One kind of clover because the rest is only tree, 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 tree. And they say when it's a real one, they have three big leaves and one small, or three small and one big. So I think this one is like as big as the other one, and this is the smallest one. Now there are also different kind of mutations known, like five leaves, seven leaves, twelve leaves, fourteen leaves, and even one guy found. As I have read and remembered correct, 21 leaves from one clover tree. So that's a unique. So I'm gonna put this uh, between papers and a book to uh, have a longer life than uh, here. And the snail see it as food. A lucky charm. So uh, here we are again with uh, the bio box and goldfish. Doing fine. But I got some water plants for them, so let's release them. I got a shot. Nice shot. Yeah. Yeah. It's because people said, like, yeah, it's so. It's a, it's a, why don't they have plants in the, in the water? And then you. Uh, explain them that they destroy plants, but uh, and they eat them. So let's see what they will do with these, and what these plants will do in this system combined. So we have double layer water and plants. Yeah, the celery is also going. In action. Ooh. And do we see already papaya? No, not really. So, the bio box with extra water plants and a little bit duckweed, of course, also. So, that will be gone in a day, I think. And of course, other bacteria and microorganisms that have been converted to this system. It's nice. Bigger, di bigger biodiversity makes everything better. Yes. So, let's go back, check out how the prawns are going with the climbing. First, let's give them a little bit of food. I shall give them also the, the hemp seeds. I shall also give them the hemp seeds. So, back to prawns and then back to the fish here for the hemp seeds. So as far as for the weather today, not a, not a lot of rain, it's, uh, we got a lot of gusts, it's a little bit windy, temperature is 14.2 degrees celsius, yeah, nice. But I think they climatized already in half an hour, so we shall release them. And these prawns will be uh, living in this uh, swirl filter so they can eat uh, small particles that are not being um, collected so they can uh, buzz around with it. So I'm gonna. I decided to make it a biological swirl filter with some more uh, filtering systems with animals and plants in it. As we already had snails and other small creatures, we shall add the biodiversity of this uh, swirl filter. Look, it's swirling around. And uh, every objects will sink to the bottom. 
So let's release them. Get them here. See if we get them at close range in the camera. Yeah, the first one. Ah, they are just keeping it together. Just stick to it. <laughs> ah, don't forget the snails in here. Thank you. Thank you. So, they've been released. And by releasing me here, we maybe we will find them uh, more easily back than, uh, than usual. And look at them. Nom, 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 nom. So and these plants will multiply also, so we can also sell the aquatic plants to other users or just uh, we use it as uh, worm food. So we can uh, feed it back to the fish in the form of worms. Yeah, they are there. Uh, not too much light. Your new home. And eventually, hopefully, they also will go to this tube to the other system, and then uh, when they populate that section, they maybe will be manually added by uh, us uh, to the fish, or they will just fall in by being clumsy into this overflow. They fall down there. So we shall see. Interesting new. Development. And there's also one small guppy in there. I hope it will survive the temperature of 11 degree. <laughs> it's not that uh, not that warm. Let's give the other goldfish also some ham seeds and remove the plastic. <laughs> yes. <laughs> To be continued. Yes, we got one in visual. Is nobody working here? Yeah. Our new employee. <laughs> the blue pro. Is it nice? Cleaning. Multiplying. Being blue and being a new member to the society. Yay! And something different. I think I see frog eggs there on the bottom. I see the shark on the camera, but I think over there. A little bit dirty, but looks like frog eggs. So, maybe we get frogs also. Huh. Must be uh, a frog from the, from the neighborhood then, because uh, we didn't release frogs in it. But yeah, there's the fun thing about aquaponics. You work with nature and it attracts nature in a good way, so it's nice. Instead of uh, working against it, we work with it, yay. Yeah. 
So I also found a new flower here from the lettuce. It's just bang, I'm German, it's just bang, shoot it up, put flowers in it, and that was it. So, but the one we removed this main stem uh, is growing new leaves, so it looks like this, and might be a solution to it. So we have the whole year around like fresh leaves, and we can eat it. So, to trick the plant, it's nice, nice, oh, great stuff. Here we go, hemp seeds for the goldfish. <laughs> it's a little bit too much, but yeah, you will eat it. <laughs> nom nom nom. <laughs>